What do you need to know about wealth in combination with goal setting? My name is Tineke Rensen from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women who work on their own to scale and grow and build a business within a year and double your income guaranteed. Now let's talk about wealth. Most people think that wealth is all about money, about finance, but wealth has seven areas. And let me go over all these areas with you. Area number one is spirituality. Now, how do you want to evolve this year? It's the beginning of 2022 when I record this video. How do you want to evolve spiritually this year? You might not have thought about this, that this is part of wealth, but it's a very, very important and significant part of you becoming wealthy. The next area is physical, your physical body. What goals do you have to, uh, for example, exercise or lose weight or I don't know what, what maybe you want to do some operations. I'm not saying you should, I would never do that, but whatever. So what goals do you have physically? For example, I want to gain muscle strength. That's one of my goal, goals. So I would need to train specifically for that. Now, what are your physical goals? The next goal, uh, the, the next area is intellectual. What is it that you want to learn this year? Do you want to start studying? Do you want to do a training? Do you want to follow a program? Do you want to hire a coach or a mentor? What is it that you want to gain intellectually? Maybe you want to hang out with in more intellectual people. Maybe you want to challenge yourself more to be around intellectual people. What is it that you want to learn on the intellectual area this year. Next area of wealth is family. What goals can you set for yourself according to family? Maybe you want to visit your parents more often, or maybe you want to start taking care of them. Maybe you want to uh, finish an argument you have with a brother or sister or a nephew. Um, Maybe you want to uh, look after your kids a lot more or spend more time with your kids. It's one of my goals. And I also have goals for my kids. Now I cannot create, um, they need to set their own goals of course, but I can set an intention and I can send them love. For example, one of my goals is I want my two daughters to go on well better together. Now it's up to them, but I do have some influence on that. Yeah. Next um, area is social. So what goals can you set for social events? Uh, do you want to uh, do, do parties at your house? Do you want to go out more often? Do you want to have new friends? Are there friends you haven't spoken to for a long time and you want to reconnect with? All things that you, all goals that you can set for this year. And know that all these areas, when you evolve in all these areas, they make you feel a lot better. Your energy raises, your vibration raises around all these areas. And guess what? That's also going to help you scale and grow your business. It's amazing, isn't it? But it's your duty as a businesswoman or as a self-employed business uh, lady that you make it happen that you feel yourself good at all times and therefore it's your obligation to work on all these areas because if you neglect one if you're um, very uh, if you make a lot of money but you, you're not putting attention to the other areas you feel shallow you feel empty you don't feel fulfilled it's never only about the money so it's important to set goals for all those areas all right the next goal is career now us being all businesswoman of course it's about your business 
And this is if we set goals at all, because only 40% uh, of the business women do set goals. And the reason why most of them don't, 60%, is because they either uh, don't like setting goals anymore because they never meet them uh, and get frustrated about it, or because they don't know how to, they, or they don't think big enough, they're scared about setting big goals, they don't have the steps on how to set goals, smart goals never worked for, for you, I actually created a video on that, why smart goal setting is not very smart and wise to do. Um, so uh, it's also important to set business goals, very, very important. And especially in the beginning of the year, and I preferably do that with my clients at the end of the year towards the new year. And then the last area, of course, it's finance. Do set your financial goals. And out of my research, also over 60% of the women do not set financial targets. Now, it's important to set your mind and energy to something, to a goal. How on earth are you even going to reach it if you don't set a goal? I mean, imagine you start walking and you have no idea where you go. I mean, it can be a nice journey. But you don't know if you will reach the destination because you didn't set your destination. So that is all about goal setting. You have to have financial goals in your business. And I always work with year goals that make some calculations with busy months, slow months, um, weeks you don't want to work, productive work, less productive work, to an eventual monthly target and that is what you're going to aim for and if you're if you didn't make it and you worked very hard for it then there can also be mental blockages money and emotions is a huge huge topic and i have a facebook group powerful businesswoman please join we just did a poll all the women voted for money mindset it's another topic it's a huge topic um, it's something I've studied a lot on. Uh, I was actually the first in my country who introduced it, this topic over 10 years ago. Now it seems that there's a lot of money mindset coaches. Um, but it's really, really important for you. So now this is only one area of business. It's about goal setting um, and wealth building. Now, I created a system, the Women's Blueprint to Business Success. It contains nine areas of areas you need to work on when you want to seriously scale and grow your business. Um, and I can help you with that. And if you feel inspired, if you're serious about scaling and growing your business, if you want to take your one woman business to a proper business, and become a team owner or business owner, uh, then I challenge you, please schedule a 15 minute call with me. It's not a sales call, it's not long enough to sell you, but it's for us to check each other out. Can I even help you? Because I, I need to know that. And do you even like me? And do I like you? Those things are important. We will add the link in the comments here don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's very important. There's lots of these videos, hundreds of videos on how to scale and grow your business. And I'm hoping to talk to you again next week. Bye bye.